Hello. 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 Yes. Uh, good afternoon, dear Prime Minister. I'm happy to hear you. It's my pleasure. Zoran speaking. <laughs> Mr. President, you are? Yeah. Yes, it's me. I hope the weather is great in Macedonia. In Macedonia. Yes, it's still summer time. It's very hot. How is in Ukraine? Uh, I think it's a little bit. Uh, uh, it's a little bit colder, but anyway, I hope that we'll have good weather anyway yeah. in future. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Uh, are you fine? A, How are we you? Have a, we have yeah? a soon uh, Independence Day. So yes. Anyway, the sun sh will shine. Very good, very good. Will be very good. I hope everything best for Ukraine. I know that uh, also Russian ag aggression uh, has reached you too. Russia was trying to make intervention in Greece uh, mm -hmm. to prevent uh, Mr. Tsipras to sign an agreement with you. Uh, yeah. Wanted to overthrow you. Uh, that is hybrid aggression. I know they are doing it in in Ukraine uh, all over the world. Uh, Russia bribes different political political uh, parties to have uh, influence. Yes, it's a uh, one very important moment. But first of all, you know that we expel one diplomat here also uh, before Greece because uh, together with Great Britain, like solidarity, because was very much exposed. Uh, go far away uh, than every international possibility and uh, agreements what's existing and uh, also involve of inside questions of our country what was not allowed by any law domestic or international we do that but also i want to share one fear what is happening here in our region uh, the president of, of serbia and president of kosovo start some negotiations of uh, sharing territories and changing borders and uh, we are very against of that even councillor merkel is against and uh, the whole region is against because we feel that there is some hidden intention from russia to use this like international practice i want to alarm to you to be focused i yesterday i speak with uh, councillor merkel about that we have five, uh, half of our phone conversation i ask support because i saw that somebody want to use like international new practice of changing of borders that is uh, countries who have plans connecting with for example turkey with uh, kipar but russia with abkhazia and crime and i'm very afraid that that kind of steps will make huge damage to your region but also, also to my region uh, mm -hmm. we are completely against that and we do everything we inform american forces and politicians i inform even the vice president pence for that mm -hmm. and uh, uh chief of state department uh, mr pompeo our minister of foreign affairs inform but uh, we act very high to the european commission especially to madame mogherini to stop mm -hmm that kind of activities will make a huge damage to the Balkan. But I know that that is hide and goal for uh, this uh, global uh, uh, plans. Mm -hmm. uh, what Russia exactly did? What is, uh, Serbia is very close with Russia. Uh. And okay, they have that kind of decisions. Mm -hmm. But in the moment, the problem with Kosovo, Maybe you are uh, aware yes, of that. Yes, I'm aware. Yes. I'm yes. Aware. And the solution, they find 10 municipalities from northern part of Kosovo to be given to Serbia and few municipalities in southern part of Serbia to be given to Kosovo. That change of borders. It's not possible because uh, out of the new line of possible borders are still Serbians and Kosovars. And that will produce only wars. And it's, B Balkan will be a new tamping bomb. Uh. But hidden of that, I saw activities possible. Maybe I am wrong, but hope that I am wrong. But we must be focused. Because Russia, suppose, and some forces in Russia, mm -hmm. suppose that plan to use it that, like international practice. Mm -hmm for crime, for uh, Abkhazia, and mm -hmm. possibly Turkey, for Kipar. You know the island, Kipar. They yeah, have problems with Greece. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah. yes, of course. Uh, I agree, and I will be focused on it. Uh, so um, I know your president is talking to Putin and doesn't approve the agreement with Greece. Uh, Let's agree. What, 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 mm. which relations are between them? I have problem with our president. We have cohabitation, but he is he is against the agreement with Greece. But of course, we will succeed succeed in our country. We have referendum now in 30 of September. I believe very much that we will succeed in this process. After the referendum, we have constitutional change and Greek par Greece parliament will vote uh, in the beginning of 2019. And that is final implementation of the agreement. Agreement is adopted and ratified in our parliament with huge majority even close to two-thirds major majority. Mm -hmm. So we believe that we will succeed. Our president is close to, to the forces who is against uh, that kind of agreements because with this agreement, we go forward in our integration in NATO and European Union. We accept to change our constitutional name because we are only part of this historical region Macedonia, we'll, we will be North Macedonia, but the Greek side recognize our identity like nations, Macedonian mm -hmm. nation, and they recognize our official language, Macedonian language. With that, we close completely all open issues here in the region. With Bulgaria also, so there is only friendly politics here, but that is the problem, and our president is against this agreement because they think that Greece push us too much, and he is against. We have cohabitation with him, but we are in a different side in the moment. But do you think that um, that side is supported by Russian uh, Russian influence? It's possible. I don't have some concrete uh, proofs because it's very sensitive issue in our country. It's possible, but I don't have some proofs connecting with that. He has meetings with Russia, with Turkey, very often, okay, but I don't have some concrete proof, proofs of that. He publicly announced because of his personal opinion and opinion of his cabinet, because of that he is against. He doesn't uh, give some uh, motivation or some pressure from Russia or from other sides. Uh, what uh, Mr. Pence uh, told you, what, what Vice President Pence uh, told you when you called him and asked uh, and called to stop the aggression? Uh, they support us directly, completely and openly with that issue. And uh, they continuing to support us, even the President Trump. I have meeting uh, with President Trump during the NATO summit in Br Brussels in 12th of July, mm -hmm. and uh, for example, uh, our country will be visit from the Minister of Defense from the United States during the referendum campaign. That is 17th of September. Uh, uh, the Minister of Defense will visit Macedonia, what is very good for us, but also mm -hmm. Councillor Merkel will visit Macedonia during the referendum in 20th of September. So that is huge support here. Why? Because it's uh, our fight, uh, like citizens, we will vote, but it's some kind of fight in a global level. Who will declare the win? Russia or Germany and United States together here in Macedonia? Because since independence of our country, United States, European Union, Germany support us very much. Russia doesn't support nothing in this country, yeah, in all these democratic countries, the democratic process is what we have it. And really, I ask for this support, and everybody will be here, even from Italy, from France, high distinguished members of society, like ministers, like, I don't know, presidents, prime ministers, will visit our country, because campaign for referendum will be uh, all September, and the voting will be in 30th of September, so they will support us directly in the campaign. So, uh, well, what I would like to tell you, yes, I know that uh, all of you also could uh, count on our support, of course, and uh, you know that uh, I also would like to make, uh, I'm, I just made a decision, I, talk, I spoke with my minister uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. and I decided, uh, I decided to um, set free the visa regime for your country for 
uh, all time from Ukrainian side. So, mm -hmm. you know, we have uh, our agreements between our countries just yeah. to make a free visa regime just yeah. for one year. And I want to make it uh, permanent. Very good. I also agree with that. We have a lot of uh, to do to support, especially our trade between two countries, but also common investment. Yes. And since I have mentioned the EU and NATO matter, I want to talk with you about that. Um, well, mm, uh, I also would like to tell you about my, uh, bi I have also business, uh, chocolate business, you know, mm -hmm. maybe in Ukraine, and I also would like to develop it uh, in your country, maybe to, Very good. maybe to build something like a manufactories. Great. Uh, Please count on me, even privately, not only officially like state. It will be yes. great. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm I'm not uh, I, I'm just a benefits are uh, it's uh, it's like but I, I have it's it's on my own. Well, uh, uh, I have heard uh, you have some small problems with the coming referendum and opposition. So opposition is uh, that's what is really interesting. How uh, do you see what uh, can we do for you? Uh, we can launch agitation in our country and and provide great promotion. I also know how Albanian voices are important for you. Uh, well, uh, I can give you some um, advice, m advices maybe about referendum. Mm -hmm. Everything will be helpful, Mr. President. Your uh, lady ambassador here know very good our Macedonian language. It is very helpful with a state supporting our future in NATO and European Union. And that is even present help what we get it from Ukraine. We are very close with Albanian citizens. Almost all Albanian parties are inside of my government and parliamentarian majority. Uh, I have 25% uh, of voters from Albanians who vote directly for me and for my party. Uh, because I am uh, very supportive with all uh, ethnical groups in our country. I'm Macedonian and I lead the biggest Macedonian party, but now we are a multi-ethnical party here in the country. Uh, we are together with Albanian citizens in our country. All of them are together with me. I think uh -huh. if you have some consultant, somebody with experience, for example, please yes, send to I me. I, I, I will be pleased to talk with them with some advice to get, get us to be some creation maybe with that kind of experience will be very helpful for us. So, well, I can give you some advice on how to make them uh, be even more loyal. Uh, so, you know, we have a big part of Crimean Tatar population who yeah. didn't accept Russian occupation, uh, occupation and more radical ones uh, who uh, live in Kiev right now. Uh, some uh, Russian uh, media recognized them as uh, terrorists, uh, mm -hmm. but I offered uh, them autonomy. I offered them um, autonomy in uh, occupied territory, and now they are very loyal. Give them their language, um, flag, uh, banner, identity, mm -hmm. identity policy, and uh, you will get the most loyal Ma Macedonians, lo mm -hmm. the most loyal Albanians. But that is politics. If you don't have uh, radicals in your hands, there will be a problem for you. Anyway, yeah. it helps. I agree. Yes. Very good. Will be very helpful. Please, our cabinet to contact. I will wait this person to, to visit us if it's possible. To have some meeting with me, maybe. Yes, of course. I will send you my uh, pers uh, my persons. And I just talked to Mr. Stoltenberg. Uh, mm -hmm. before a few hours ago mm -hmm. and he also told me that he supports uh, he supports your uh, poli poli policy and yeah. yesterday I also had a talk with uh, Mr. Mitchell uh, Wes Mitchell mm -hmm. and we touched up on the matter of uh, Russian natural gas and Nord Stream 2 I do hope that you are not going to strike a deal with Russia in future uh, so he said that the uh, former prime minister didn't plan to impose sanctions against Russia and went against political mainstream mm -hmm. in the country, and uh, it turned uh, bad for him. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we also very much spoke about that, because uh, Russian official diplomats don't, do not hesitate uh, even officially to attack me, because I comment these appropriate activities, what they have it in my country, officially, 
but uh, they know that uh, more than 80% of our citizens are in favor of NATO and the European Union, and we will do everything to success in this process. Even the uh, General Secretary Stoltenberg will visit my country on 6 of September. Uh, the Councillor Kurz will be here on 7 of September. West mm -hmm. Mitchell, it's uh, always in our connection. We have even mobile phone uh, communication, especially for that. They are very aware of what's happened here in the country because it's a very sensitive period of time in front of us. And September is a very important month for us, and, but I think that we will prevail and we will succeed. Yes, I agree. We also will be part of that family. I think soon, and it's really important for us to have uh, so such uh, so such friend as uh, Macedonia. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Stoltenberg also promised uh, first consideration uh, uh, for us, but we will have to hold referendum on joining NATO. Uh, this was uh, criticized much, much in mm -hmm. our country. But how? Uh, but how one politician uh, say? Polit but how one of uh, our politicians says? Mm -hmm. It is not important how people vote, but uh, how we count votes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I hope that uh, this advice will help you too. Yes, will help me, for sure. I would like, uh, the last thing I would like to tell you, uh, well, mm -hmm. uh, that we, I also have a relation to Alexander Makedonsky. Mm -hmm. ah, very good. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, I just will, as you know, um, um, recently our Ukrainian scientists have made research. Mm -hmm. As you know, Ukrainians are um, uh, and uh, are ancient uh, um, former former Sumerians. Uh -huh, yes, I read about that. Yes, and once our ter and uh, once our territory was a subject to Alexandria. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very good. So the and history, history yes. can connect us, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And yes. we need a city. It, it, this is my homeland, my hometown. Was uh -huh. said by Alexander of Macedon, the Great, Alexander Great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He liked uh -huh. he liked it. It's wine. Ah, very good. Very good. Very good. It's our good to know this part of history. Very good, very yes, good. Our scientists have already defined uh, that we are relatives, and that's why I can be called uh, Peter of Macedon, uh, Peter Peter Macedonski. Uh -huh. Very good. <laughs> so you also could uh, call me Peter Macedonski. Peter Macedonski. <laughs> yes. Very good, very good. But it's a brief story. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a brief story. The point is that I want to give the city a new name, um, Eastern Macedonia. Uh -huh. It might look reckless, uh, but it may but it may distract Greece from your matter. How? Well, I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, we, well, uh, it 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 can um, we can take a strike on our side from Greece. No, no. They will be not against, of course. They are also proud of this uh, I mean, history. They have... I mean, oppositional side. Ah, oppositional side will will react. <laughs> will react from Greek side, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's not the first. Um, uh, we had the same issue with Honduras regarding names, but I think mm. I can deal with the opposition and take the strike on my side. Mm. <laughs> It's interesting because it's also connecting with history, so nobody uh, have a reason to be against that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. anyway, it, it helps you. It will help you, and it will, uh, will help me. It will help me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for in, sure. in some areas, so we can cooperate in that issue too. Yes, of course. That is issue what will cause us better <laughs> than, even than now. Yes. Yes. Also, the last uh, um, I have a uh, Mr. Stoltenberg on the line. Uh huh. I can uh, if you will allow uh, me, I will connect him if it's possible. Hello. Uh, could I connect uh, uh, Mr. Stoltenberg on the line? Who to connect? Uh, with uh, Jens Stoltenberg. Yes, Secretary please. 
Okay, I will I will put you through, and I'm also online. Online. Okay, thank you. Hello, this is Jens Stoltenberg, Secretary General of NATO. Hello, my friend. It's Zoran Zaya speaking, the Prime Minister of Macedonia. I appreciate very much this opportunity to talk directly uh, to you. And uh, political dialogue is of great importance for uh, NATO. I have a very good uh, cooperation with Petro Poroshenko, and he is a very uh, uh, important uh, political leader. Uh, uh, and I think he shows really strong leadership in Ukraine uh, in a very difficult times. I agree completely. And uh, I would like to ask you uh, how you uh, see uh, uh, a cooperation between NATO. Uh, Mr. General Secretary, you know that that is our first goal, and we do everything to achieve this goal. After the agreement with Greece, now we are in front of starting of campaign for a referendum. We also await you, if it's possible, to visit our country, because it's some kind of plans I, I know from your administration. Some visit possible in the beginning of September. I don't know, 6, 7 September, if it's possible. But, Absolutely. Uh, also, uh, Absolutely. Yes? I agree with you. I, 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 um, I am also, of course, uh, concerned about... Uh, Russian pressure, pressure uh, and uh, interference in your uh, country. Yes, uh, we will we will block all these activities because we have really very huge support from the friends, from United States, from Germany. We will have also very important visit in our country. Uh, first of all, General Secretary Stoltenberg for sure, but also Madame Merkel will visit us. The Defense Minister from the United States will visit us. Uh, also, uh, other leaders will visit us in these uh, very important momentums for us. But I am very afraid, uh, Mr. General Secretary, about that what's happened in, between Serbia and Kosovo. As you know, they try to change uh, borders and change territories. And I think that there is uh, some Russian influence in that because they want to use it, this possibility, like international practice for some aspirations what Russia have, like Abkhazia, possible crime, crime, and maybe Turkey also connected with Kipar. We are very afraid of that, what's happened here in the Balkan. And we uh, get uh, complete support from Mother Merkel directly. And we try also in the European Union to talk about that because, as you know, Balkan is multi ethnical and that will open Pandora box. I talk with the President Poroshenko also in that issue to be careful, really, but all of us must be focused in this uh, matter, what's happened now, this month. I agree with you. We made a decision that you will become uh, a member of NATO, but uh, but uh, uh, has to implement uh, fundamental reforms of its security sector, uh, yes. uh, fight corruption, uh, uh, improve uh, the way uh, the the judiciary system is working, uh, and so on, uh, to be able to apply. And uh, yeah. and we speak about at least several years. Uh, yeah. This is not something that will happen in, in the near, near future. Mm. Uh, the North Atlantic uh, Council approved your country's individual partnership action plan, and this sets the framework for the next two years and allows us to maintain and possibly further enhance our mutual uh, and, um, and engagement. Uh, uh, I think that uh, the focus now has to be on our partnership and how we can strengthen yes. our partnership and work closely uh, together. Uh, and uh, and uh, we have uh, already many activities. Uh, we should do more. And uh, yes. I also welcome uh, uh, that you indicated willingness to consider uh, uh, hosting um, Western military uh, uh, personnel uh, in the future. Yes, of course, we work in that. As you know, we start accession 
talks with the representatives uh, from NATO. And of course, after the successful referendum and the whole process with Greece, we will continue in that direction. We have very successful reforms in judiciary, ruling of law, also fight against corruption, and we will continue in that direction. I promise you to, to you, Mr. General Secretary. I'm very grateful for uh, uh, your your interest in considering uh, hosting um, uh, Western militaries. Yeah. Um, that's very interesting, and uh, I will uh, uh, raise that issue with uh, allies uh, uh, within uh, NATO, and also yeah. uh, I will inform uh, the United States, my yes. special representative. James Apaturai can be in touch with your chief of staff uh, to follow up about uh, the possibility of considering hosting Western militaries. Of course, with, with pleasure. We are really dedicated partner until now in the future, like member countries, when we achieve all needed things in front of us, count on us for everything. We have a lot of common trainings here in our country, also this very famous uh, part of our country, we call it Krivolak, where together with NATO forces and United States forces, together we have common trainings uh, with our army to be really prepared, but also to continuing to be a guarantee for keep, uh, keeping peace in this part of the world, because it's important, it's a sensitive region, Balkan is... Uh, in the uh, in the history was always some kind of problem, but now it's a really pleasant place. Uh, I very much appreciate uh, your uh, uh, support. Thank you so much. It was a great Thank pleasure you. to talk to you, and I wish great. you all uh, uh, the best. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. General Secretary. We will wait you in our country to visit. Thank you very much. It was my great pleasure. Hello, this is uh, Petro, Petro again. Uh, yes. Disconnected. Uh, well, I hope that you had uh, fruitful uh, dialogue. Yes, yes, very good, very good. General Secretary support us very much uh, because he personally gave us invitation for NATO in 12th of July and uh, will visit our country and we are very happy of that. That motivate our citizens to continuing forward fighting for more democracy, for peace, for ruling of law, that is very important. I would like to ask you, um, could you please give me a cell of um, Wes? Because I had uh, maybe another number. One number. Of, of Wes Mitchell? Yes, yes. Now, only one second. It is plus mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yes, so this is his mobile phone. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Prime Minister. I Mister, I, yes. I appreciate this conversation. Uh, can you uh, give me your mobile phone, Mr. President? And uh, yes. I, I, after yes. that, I will send yes. you a message also to be good connected with you if it's not a pro problem. Okay, not, not a problem. It's uh, just a moment, please. Yes. It's plus three. Plus three. This Two. my... Uh, no, phone number, and uh, you can also reach me. So, at first, you can write me in, uh, through your messenger. Yes. Through yes. WhatsApp or some, somehow. Through WhatsApp. Through WhatsApp, yeah, I will yeah, send you a message. And then, and then now, I will send you a message only to be connected. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mr. Well, President, it was a wonderful uh, conversation, Prime Minister. I appreciate it. And I thanks. wish you all the best and uh, great success in your referendum and your political activities and your future, political future. It was a great pleasure for me, Mr. Poroshenko, to talk with me you. Too. And don't forget, now you can call me only Peter Makedonsky. Okay, Peter Makedonsky. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. It was Thank great you, pleasure for me. Thank you, great Mr. President. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Hello. 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 Yes. Yes, my, fr my friend, uh, this is Petro Poroshenko. How are you there? How are you, Mr. President? Are you good? I'm good, and you? I'm good. I'm very happy. I traveled to Germany, now I'm in Michen, uh, but I'm very good and very happy because we fulfill all these 
about uh, our agreement with Greece. So and we are very happy. Yes. So that's why. Let me congratulate you on your successful vote in Parliament. So I'm really sure. So you will be soon uh, a part of uh, the EU and NATO. So now, now it's it's Greece. Is everything okay yes. with them? Yes. Yes. In Greece, they are okay. Prime Minister Tsipras guarantee they have a majority in the parliament to vote for the PESPA agreement, and after that, they are will be first country who will ratify the NATO protocol. And that, we, that means that we will have a chair in, in NATO in Brussels, but also our flag will be raised there in NATO, and we are very happy because of that. <laughs> so he is on your side, absolutely. Yes, completely, I, completely. We became very good guy. friends. I know that guy, so he, he, <laughs> if, if, he, if he promised something, he will do that. Yes, yes, of course, my friend. How are you? Are you good? Uh, you know, we have some problems. Uh, uh, recently, uh, last month, we got uh, big troubles with Russia mm -hmm. in Black in Black Sea. Maybe you heard yes. that. Uh, yes, we... of course. I follow. I follow complete situation. I know everything. Yes, uh, that's about you know this. That, yeah. Uh, you know that EU, uh, EU and the US, they supported us and they would like to uh, put new sanctions against Russia and also, so we, now we hope that uh, we will, you know, we have a martial law uh, recently, mm -hmm. so, um, so it was a military regime in our country. Because of uh -huh. because we know a lot of spies and I hope that when you'll be in a, you will be a member of EU you also uh, can support uh, that sanctions against Russia. Of course, because that is not good what they do. I hope yeah. that we will become very soon a member of the European Union and we will be completely support if you know that I share all your reasons because uh, aggressive against Ukraine territory is not acceptable. It's 21st century, it's really not acceptable for nobody. Abs absolutely. And I know that your president, uh, he doesn't want to approve your uh, new law about uh, renaming. <coughs> re brain, re he, renaming. Yes, he is, he is against, but uh, doesn't depend from the president because only the parliament makes decision. Yes. After that, he will be positive, because that is a uh, problem what uh, existing three decades, and we finally find solution. We will be now Republic of North Macedonia, for mm -hmm. sure, because there is a part of Macedonia in Greek side, and that is the way of building a friendship. And he will support after the announcement in the public gazette. Everything mm -hmm. will be good. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I know. I worry because... I heard many things about your president that he is a friend of uh, Putin. So I really, yeah. uh, I really, uh, I really concern about. I'm concerned about that because uh, because I, I worry because uh, Putin now he can m give uh, bribes to other foreign leaders. So that's yeah, why I, I want to uh, to you be aware about that. Yes, I'm aware because uh, Putin, through our president, make uh, big problems in the country. Not uh, similar like you, but the yeah. problems here with a lot of agents. They try to obstacle this process. They make a lot of problematic things in the country, but we survive. And now we are very happy. And our president has an end of mandate in May this year. But uh, in March or in April, when we will take a place in NATO, I want to visit Ukraine, to encourage wow. Ukraine people that there is a hope, like our citizens, what uh, uh, fulfill the expectation, and sometimes Ukraine will fulfill this expectation, yes. like Macedonian citizens. My friend, you should know that I, I, I will wait for you in any time, uh, if you would like to come and just let me know, write me, and we will make you the best trip in our country. Thank so you. I will, I will, With I will show you my. Uh, uh, my my killer. <laughs> How ah, very good. <laughs> my personal killer. So anyway. Yes. <laughs> and we can see and and tests 
what do I have? Because I, I I'm really big fan of uh, good wine, and also Very uh, and also uh, I know uh, you maybe you heard about uh, our uh, good news uh, that we received the Thomas from uh, Constantinople Church. So we got autocephalia in our Orthodox Church now. Congratulations so, uh, for that. I hear because we work also with the. Istanbul, Constantinople, also for our church, because Russia make a problems with our church. Also, they don't recognize us. We expect to be after Ukraine Orthodox Church, our church, Macedonian Orthodox Church will be the next, which will be recognized by the Constantinople Patriarch. Yes, you know that I met with him uh, recently. And, uh, uh, oh, Var Var Varfolome is my friend now. So, oh, you 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 need to lobby for us also. Yes, yes, that's why I can Very I can good. help. I think I can uh, discuss <coughs> the problem. I can uh, lobby. I can uh, help your uh, your Orthodox charge too, to help you very to get in, in independence from Serbia. So, yes, yes, it's very important because Serbia church uh, are managed by the Russian church by Moscow, and they because of that they make a problems for us. And I will appreciate very much some good uh, words from your side to the uh, Bartolome, the patriarch Bartolome. Tsipras will help me also because he is uh, by origin by Greece, but uh, every help will be very precious for us. Ah, Tsipras, uh, Tsipras promised to help you to get uh, out of Kifar. Yes. Ah. yes, he will help me. Yes, he will help me. Okay, maybe did you know okay. the uh, ambassador for uh, ambassador of uh, the U.S. in Greece, uh, Jeffrey Pyatt? Uh, yes, yes, he. I know, our, I know him. Yes, he is our friend. He was ambassador of uh, the U.S. in Ukraine, so he <laughs> helped us. Uh, yes, he helped us uh, very much, and uh, also we uh, received uh, Thomas because of help of our friends. In Department of State, uh, for example, Ambassador Brownback, Brownback, and uh, yes, of course, Wes also helped us, and uh, okay. I, I really appreciate that. So I, I good. think Very I good. think we we can cooperate together to uh, yes. help it. Thank you, my friend. I will appreciate that very much. And I also I, I would like to discuss some. Um, also from issues so you know that yes. um uh, uh, i know you know that uh, problem with kosovo you no know, i i think how, yes. uh, how to cooperate with that guys uh, uh, you know that uh, russia now try to stop uh, to stop uh, they are not uh, they are unhappy about the creation of the of the kosovo kosovo army you know yes that. they are not happy yes i'm I now spent one hour with the Prime Minister of Kosovo uh, five hours ago, yes, because ah, I really? traveled from Pristina, from Kosovo, and they ah. have a problem. Yes, they have a problem not only with the army, but also with the recognition of Kosovo. And uh, Serbia has intention to change territories there, to give some territories for, for Serbia, from Serbia to Kosovo and to take some territories from Kosovo to go to, to Serbia. But I think that Russia is behind because they want to show international practice with that. And after that, to, to show uh, some arguments uh, in front of uh, the, uh, this, uh, obviously what they have it to crime and Abkhazia and the whole region there. Yes. And that is very bad. Because of that, we are against of that. There is no international practice of changing of territories or uh, that kind of things what's happened. So there is a big problem in the moment. I try to help Kosovo uh, very okay. much in the moment. I know. Uh, that's why I'm calling too. I would like to cooperate with that, guys. You know that our country uh, did not recognize uh, their independence yet, but I would like to be in touch with their prime minister. And maybe maybe you can give me uh, his contacts uh, and we can... I will already... send you... I'll... Yeah, I will send you through WhatsApp his uh, uh, mobile phone because he is available in WhatsApp. I communicate mm -hmm. with him also in WhatsApp, like us, and yes, I will yes. send uh, your uh, to you uh, uh, the phones of Mr. Haradinai. Ramush Haradinai is the yes. name of the Prime Minister. 
I would like to do that because, uh, you know, we can resist Russia together. And you know that yes, uh, of re recognition of independence is not a uh, really fast uh, movement. Mm -hmm. So we need to yeah. just to be in touch and we can see what we can do against uh, their uh, operations. So that's, that would be very, that would be very uh, uh, useful, you know. Yes, so, of course. And I also course. would like to. I would, would also also would like to congratulate you with your vote in parliament. I don't. I, I hope Thank that you. you did not spend uh, so much money <laughs> as I do with my opposition. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. It's available. Really huge for the country. It's available. <laughs> I have good management with the MPs because I need two thirds majority for that. And I achieved two-third majority, even to MPs more than two-third majority, and I'm very happy about that. And I'm happy that Albanian and, also supported you. And they... Yes, Albanians and also all minorities support us, like uh, yes. these uh, Serbians, like Bosniaks, uh, all other minorities in the country support the process because it's a really a kind of a good example of solving identity issue. Uh, problems and uh, it's a very very important at least i would like to tell you one anecdote you know anecdote one my friend one of my friend president told me that <laughs> about albanian uh -huh. and bosniak if you drive if you sit in car with albanian and bosniak so who who <laughs> will be driver uh, i don't know the serbian police officer <laughs> uh oh Police officer. <laughs> <laughs> very good. <laughs> very good. Very it's good. One, one of the European president told me that. Anyway. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. Okay, okay. Okay, okay my friend. Mr. President, thank you. Thank, thank you. thank you very much. Thank you. You are very kind. Thank you for all this support. I want to, to share our support with you. Everything thank what you. you needed. Please count on me. For okay. any issues, and you too, and, and, uh, especially in sphere you. of in sphere of Thomas and uh, contact with Warfalami. So we'll be yes. in touch. Very good. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Have a nice okay. day. Okay, we will be in touch. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Ciao ciao. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. 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 Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm good, my friend. How are you? Are you good? I'm good too. Yes, you know, sorry for the delay. So, because uh, you know, I have a presidential campaign and uh, yes, yes. So I, I, voting. yes, yes. So, I was really busy and uh, I think that uh, everything will be fine. So, uh, sorry for uh, so late call. No problem, my friend. Of course, I there, there needed a lot of patience connecting what ch with churches normally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. What is the yes. new information? If there is some hope for us from the patriarch. Yes, you have a great uh, hope. T uh, t today I uh, talked to uh, patriarch Bartholomew, and mm -hmm. we discussed uh, all th all things what we have done together, and I also asked him about your issue, mm -hmm. and he said that uh, we can start the procedure. So. He, I, I got his uh, agreement, so he confirmed uh -huh. that he uh -huh. can start. Yes, that is very, so, that is very good, my friend. I also uh, uh, the prime minister of, of Greece, Alexis, told me that there mm -hmm. is something positive, but probably we need to start some initiative. What we need to do connecting with that? Do you think something? At first, to... yes. At first, uh, probably you know. Uh, mm, Special Ambassador of uh, Department of State, uh, mm -hmm. Brownback. He's a, yeah. he works on religion issues. So he helped us uh, to get autokephal, and he worked with the Bartholomew. And so I think that at first we need to uh, cooperate together. And mm -hmm. what what uh, what Prime Minister Alexis told you? Uh, tell me that uh, also the, the patriarch is uh, uh, prepared to do steps connecting with us, mm -hmm. but uh, probably we will need to start some procedure in front of them. I don't know from 
Greek church or from Bulgarian church here, like mm-hmm. regional church connecting mm-hmm. with us, mm-hmm. what we have very good connection to have some uh, arguments also for the procedure. And mm-hmm. he will also lead it in the positive decision like Ukraine church. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I can, I can play, play a big role to g- give you our talk file and because I have already experience. But I should let you know that uh, uh, one of the uh, conditions, uh, in my case, what I, what I did, I gave him a, a donate uh, to personally to Patriarch Bartholomew. So I, I, gave, uh, I gave a little donate to him, mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. One, 100,000 euros. So I think that it's also one of conditions that uh, can help you yeah to... that is that is very good no problem that is very normal yes, yes. and i uh, and you know that it's uh, some like a uh, uh, bureaucratic procedure so it's not uh, it's it's better to give him it uh, with cash yes uh, it's okay it's okay there will be donation in uh, in cash normally we will do it because they need support connecting with mm-hmm. us of mm-hmm. course, we will do it. That we will do so. That. So I can arrange uh, your uh, personal visit to him, and we can uh, we can bring uh, all that stuff together. So because mm-hmm. it's better to give it by cash. Yeah, it was normal. It was in my case. So I think, uh, and I talked to him and asked him what, uh, uh, how, when uh, this procedure could be started, and he said that. Uh, we can uh, start it on on June. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. My friend, thank you very much. That is that what we needed. And uh, mm-hmm. I will use also this direct connection by Greek line because he is from Greece, mm-hmm. and I will arrange everything what is necessary, like uh, uh, previous thing to to do it, mm-hmm. and to, in June to open that. You know, uh, this price is like a discount. Uh, so he told me if you will, uh, if you will bring uh, me uh, your friend, so it will be like uh, some discount. So I paid more, one hundred five, uh, one hundred fifty. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I understand. So it's okay, it's it's good conditions for you. Yes, yes, it's super, it's super. And I also so uh, also have a few questions more, uh, if yeah. if you have time. Uh, so first, yeah. okay. and uh, what is what what is in a Serbian uh, issue? What's uh, what's with them? So they uh, uh, it's, is it cal- calm now or it's some problems? It's, it's calm now. We go together, all countries from the region, all prime ministers and some of the presidents of the countries. Together with Merkel and Macron, we have meeting in 29 of April in Berlin, mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. together. That means Serbia, North Macedonia, Albania, mm-hmm. Kosovo, and also Bosnia, Montenegro, Croatia, and Slovenia. Together mm-hmm. with Macron mm-hmm. and uh, with Merkel. Mm-hmm. And there will be something new what will happen. Mer- Merkel de- develop idea of a uh, possible solution of that. Mm-hmm. We will know everything in 29 of April now mm-hmm. during the, 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 the Eastern mm-hmm. holidays it will happen. I will inform you about all these details. Yeah, I also what worry because I know that Vucic is under, is under influence of uh, Russia. So he is not, uh, I think he probably is not uh, uh, so in the, too independent. Yes, 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 yes. He has control from Russia and Putin, for sure. That is very visible, of but course. I, but also, yeah. he doesn't have uh, a possibility, in, uh, like an alternative than integration in the European Union. So must, he must be also very smart for the further decisions for the future of, of Serbia. Otherwise, Boshko, with, well, you know that guy Boshko from very he, he will he will get a power. <laughs> yes, yes, normally, normally, <laughs> normally. Yes. What will happen tomorrow? How uh, is your chance? It's my, it's my chance. I have uh, probably yesterday you saw debates uh, in Kiev with my, uh, yes. with my competitor, uh, Zelensky, <laughs> that's, that clown. 
<laughs> yes, mm-hmm. uh, you know that uh, it's uh, yes. I have uh, I have probably forty uh, five percent of uh, support now, mm-hmm. but I think we can uh, we can do something. You know that uh, Zelensky is a puppet of uh, Putin, it, and that is bad si- uh, sign for us. For all of us, uh-huh. but you know that but I we, control. There control. will be the second round, or or there is a chance also tomorrow to finish everything. I think I I can, I, I will I will do what uh, what I I will I will fix all problems and I can control my uh, this election. So I have a good chances and I have a military support. Also, you know that I control uh, parliament. So yeah. in our, in our country, if if he will do something, some dirty tricks, you know that he will have a bad end. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So for me, I I don't you know that I will uh, remain control in country anyway. So uh-huh. I have a great control, and I have a coalition with uh, Yulia yeah, Tymoshenko yeah. and other, and so. He he probably he's popul he is look like a, a populist. I know I know complete populist. Nothing else, nothing uh, less, nothing more, because yes. he coming uh, for from that kind of uh, uh, people who joking, who laughing, yes. who are not serious, and yes. in the time of a uh, serious problems for the country, yes, there is no You're need right. for joke. Then uh, too serious, people die. There, yes. it's. Uh, uh, I yes. understand all that, but sometimes but think, citizens yes. citizens yes. are not so careful about the future of the country, and they make some problems sometimes. But you it's know, good to be focused. Yes. yes. You know that uh, probably if he will be elected tomorrow, but who will be next president? Russian comedians, Wovan and Lexus, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So it's not a joke. It's a too serious. Too serious, really. Of course, of course, it's this is really important issue. So you know that mm-hmm. he he is supported uh, by Russian uh, intelligence service. Probably he was not in touch with them, but they paid money to support him, mm-hmm. uh, to support his yeah. electorate. Yes, because he is very obviously against you, and Russia is obviously against you, and they take that kind of of steps. And I'm sure that he doesn't know um, uh, international uh, politics. So he doesn't. I, I am. I'm really sure that he even doesn't know where uh, North Macedonia located is located. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I'm really sure that. But I hope you should know that our relations will be any, uh, however strong. So very good, my friend. For me, it's very important. I really intend to, to visit Ukraine or you to visit North Macedonia now. It's a good time to strengthen, to discuss about the future and uh, together with the Western developing world. That is very important. Thank you, My man. friend, thank you for everything. Take care I... and wish you all the best with God luck supporting mm-hmm. you for the better future of uh, Ukraine citizens and uh, Ukraine. That is very important. And uh, gr- take great wishes to North Macedonians. For me, thank you. For me, it's very important. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Mr. President. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Ciao. Bye.